Hello, welcome to another video. This is that video. So the other day I created this illustration as like a warm up. I hadn't done digital art in a little while and I was like, oh, I wanna do something with big, thick, bold line art and a face. I found this reference on Pinterest. I have it linked on my Pinterest account and I created this face and I realized that this was a whole heck of a lot of fun. I asked on Instagram for some faces. So I'm gonna be drawing you guys. Jump over to Instagram. Boom. I don't know how I'm gonna pick them because like they're all such unique faces and it's gonna be really, really hard. I don't know, do I just like pick, <gasps> is that green hair? Well, that's gonna be the first one. <laughs> this is Cryptid Cherries and we're gonna draw their face. Let's hop back over to Photoshop. When I do warm ups, one of the most useful things is to like start with a really big brush, not that big, more like this. Just take it super easy and simple. Put it on pressure sensitivity to opacity so it's more gray and then if I push harder, it's darker. Now the reference image is at an angle but I wanna try and draw all of these portraits almost head on. I wanna make sure all the illustrations are in a square format. Their face and shoulders are showing. I wanna do all of them kinda like that so they're sort of cohesive in some way. Let's try and do that keeping the shape and not worry about any of the specific facial features. We know there's a head and shoulders so that's what we're gonna put in first. I want everyone to be roughly the same size proportionately. And from here, I think we could probably start blocking out individual features. They have like hair that kind of swoops up, comes around in front, tighter curls at the top, and then there's some like shorter hairs. I could take some creative liberties because it's one reference. Now, something I've noticed when trying to capture likenesses is how important eyebrow shape and structure is. As I began starting to like draw my friends and things like that, I realized how important eyebrows are. They're not not just the same on everybody. And then the other really important part is like the distance between facial features. We'll try and figure that out. Beautiful toothy smile. Try and get that shape. Distance between nose and lip and then chin. Now obviously it's still gonna be in my style, but we should take this opportunity to work on the likenesses, I think. I mean, I guess I could do whatever I want. So I did the part on this side and it's like the more focal point and then the color streak's gonna be over there and you're not gonna see it. We'll just keep going. Now we have kind of like a rough facial features. We can start adding in more recognizable parts. Focus on the shapes. I think it's with eyebrows. I just never really looked at people's eyebrows, so I didn't realize they were all so different. <laughs> I love this, like the hairs that stick down to your, I can't help but add extra woofs. Eyeliner. Now something I found helpful is when you're drawing the nose, you draw this shape that goes basically from the eyebrows to the nostril flesh bits. My anatomy skills. From there, you can kind of find the bridge. Draw like a triangle. It helps me not draw the nose too far to one side. Lips. We'll just do like a couple straps that are like overlapping each other. Before we start adding line art, I want to make sure the features are where we want. So I'm going to take the lasso tool and we're just going to like move them around. I can see that the eyes are too high compared to the reference. I'll we'll just scooch those down a smidge. I didn't draw any ears. Let's just throw some ears in there. The nose is too wide. I think I see a dimple. The mouth is too big maybe. I think that looks more like them already. I think I might have drawn the face rounder. And then the neck seems kind of long. Smidge. You just draw those back in before the liner. Just for the help, the smile is mostly upper teeth. Sometimes this can look really creepy when you draw these in, so those might not stay. Drawing teeth is difficult. Maybe a little shading. I might just raise this eye back up. Now the moment of truth. We're gonna flip the sketch and see if it's a uh, flip horizontal. It's not that bad. I think I just need to move the head over here. Just center it. I see an ear, star earring. Flip it back. I feel like it actually looks very similar to the reference. Okay, so I'm gonna lower the opacity so it's a little bit more faint. Now I'm gonna go straight black for my line art. So 35 size, hard round brush. That's what I like to use. I'm doing a thing that happens when my heart turns out bad. It's trying to do it perfectly the first go. So let's just <laughs> breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let what I know do the work for me. This eye's a little creepy. Maybe a little highlight will help. A little shadow under the chin. And for lips, I think I'll just color them with ink. But that's what I'll probably do under the teeth. So that's a bad idea. Hopefully there's a dimple on both sides because that's what I did. I can only see one side of their face. I don't know what it is. Teeth look awesome in photos, but in art, watch out. Oh, brush. Shoulders. Okay, this is dipping down a little further than I think it should be. See how those structural lines are really helpful in figuring out where the final line art will go? I'm gonna keep this really blobular and simple. I think I've been putting a little too much detail into this. More than I had planned. 
Does it look like hair? Chunks of it. I do want to include that ear because I see a cute star earring. Pull the ear out from there. See if we can make it fit. Maybe we'll just do it on the other side. Ear on the other side. But then it still won't see the earring. You know what? They're wearing a floral pattern on their tank top. What if we just do a star pattern instead to pay homage to the star that we just couldn't fit in here? I think that works. Those look like there's a little freckle right here. Okay, I think I got it. Now we get to add the green here. So let's add in some color. First, I'm gonna add like a background color. We could do orange, that way it makes like the green hair pop. Light color that's different. Oh, we did miss a spot. Let's just do that manually. It's like a peasant. Create a clipping mask. Now, when we draw in here, we'll stay inside. Now, skin tones I've noticed, like sometimes you change them throughout because they'll look different next to different colors. Try to get one close. Might need to be a little darker than this. Fill in the whole shape. Now I try to be careful and color inside the lines because now we can use that edge that we've created for the next colors and then we don't have to be as careful with those. <laughs> they just color underneath. And teeth. I kind of like the blocking colors, three tones. Adjust it. Ooh, should we go with the more purpley? We should go with more green because that's what the hair is going to be. How did I end up with the same thing? Try something else. It's so tricky. Let's just do the rest and then we'll come back to it. Doing some hair. Got like a blue shine to it. We... Oh, I forgot about the eyeballs. Now we want to add that blue streak. Actually, wait, it's green. About there. We'll just do that. We'll add a little couple extra little pieces because it's hair. It does have a strange way of looking like it's being backlit. So I'm going to lower brightness. Now it doesn't look like it's glowing so much. Don't see any makeup, but we can do a little blush. We'll take this skin tone, saturate it. Use a soft brush with opacity. Just a little give it some color, almost like as a shading. Now another thing we can do that's really cool is take our line art layer, go back to our normal brush, color it with colors that are like a slightly sometimes more saturated and darker version of what's inside. Soften them up. I'm gonna take that color we used on the blush, but go a little bit more red with it. Just color those in. And we can add some like shine to that to make them look nice and juicy. And I also like to grab maybe the line art layer with opacity. Make it a little bit darker. And then I'll we'll grab this shine anywhere I feel like it. You can also take this color, pick a lighter saturated color, and add extra shine. I don't really have a light source, so we could like here maybe just in place of this shine instead of it being like solid white okay so now the uh shirt i think i'll just make it the hair color keep this kind of cohesive take this highlight color maybe we'll leave it the white i think the white works because like it's used in other places like the eyeballs i do think the orange is too much right now let's just play with that Ooh, more yellow what did this one look like i used definitely a thicker line art here so i'm kind of mad at myself now they're not going to look very cohesive so something i did with the other one i duplicated my line art layer and then added just a little gaussian blur maybe it's a bit much i could lower it a little bit more since there's stars i'm gonna take this orange color go lighter we'll draw in little stars because that's the shape Magic sparkles. I am going to do one last thing. Merge all of my layers. Play a little bit with the color balance. Hmm, hmm, what do we think? Kind of like both versions, but this one's more vibrant. Now we'll add just a little bit of noise. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is without, this is with. Just add a little gradient around the face. That makes the face a little bit pop a little bit more, especially when it's kind of busy down here. There we go. I think that is mission accomplished. That's the first one. I kind of want to do these as warm-ups and maybe film them over a couple days. So if my nail polish changes, that's why. So let's jump back to Instagram. I think another good way, maybe be just take the most recent one. <gasps> Sorry, I'm getting excited. This is Esther Nakongo and we are going to draw them. I'm going to use green. Don't need to focus too much on the actual face. We want a head and some shoulders. Like sure it's nice and centered. Kind of off to the side, sort of block it. Now it's doing this, but I think it's because the head's tilted, something like that. Start chiseling away and finding the actual face. I might just grab this shoulder and put it up a little, you know, for the cuteness. And those collarbones. The cool thing about drawing in ears is you can take those as guidelines for where you're going to put the other features. So if I look at the reference, the eyes line up with like the top of the ears. And then above that, you're going to have the eyebrows. And the nose looks like it ends right at the bottom of the ears. And I'll do that same thing where I use sort of dots. Plan out the facial features using basic shapes more rounded than the last one. And the eye shape can come after that. My eyes are further apart than the reference. We'll have to do it one at a time. Move it in. I think I drew this bun too low. I'm gonna grab the whole sketch, move it down, grab this part, move it up. 
hairline. I know I used the guidelines of the ears, but obviously I draw ears huge. So maybe that was a bad idea. We should just be looking at the relationship of the different facial features together. My lines go from like eyebrow, eye to the width of the nose. Almost everybody has that same shape. And yeah, it looks kind of freaky when you're drawing it. But don't worry, the line art stage, you just don't use it. Crease over their eye. And their eyebrows are actually a little higher than that. Now it looks like the smile reaches about where the pupils are. Kind of dips up a little here. Dips up. So another smile that has mostly top teeth. I like to draw like the buck teeth first as one piece, like a bunny or something. I cut that in half and then that way you have like a perfect symmetry. We don't want Tom Cruise going on over here. The lips does not look right because it is such a simple mouth shape. It's gonna be a little tricky. This is good, it's pushing me. You know what might help? If I grab all of the facial features, just shrink them a smidge. Ari looks more like this person. And they have eyeliner too. Beautiful. Love it. Ooh, they used that blue eyeshadow in the corner. It's gonna be so fun to color. Pull up the edges of the mouth. Maybe if I grab this piece and smudge it. Mistake I made last time was not comparing them. I think we're on par with this one. So maybe we'll just throw this one out of the party. And we'll do the 35 size line art again. So it looks more like this one. I want to make them look like they're all standing like the same distance away, you know. Just add a little extra shoulders down here. Dropping at this place. I have a habit of people looking like they're not wearing anything. Might just add little spaghetti strips. So I used 35. Let's go to black. I like to start with the eyes. Looks like the top's pretty just rounded. And the bottom is more flat. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and then the eyebrows, soft curves. Okay, I just looked back up at the reference and the eyeliner comes more upwards. I also think the crease is a little bit bigger than what I drew, so I'm gonna just... All right, nose, ends around this guideline. Wrap that up. And now that I've drawn this, I can see that the lips are off center. With line art, every line you make is really harsh, so you have to be picky about where you put them, depending on the look you're going for. Curved hairline. Man, I miss digital art. This is so fun. Trying to speed up a little. Lips. Let's make sure they're more centered with the nose. Okay, looking better. Straighten that out. Although a crooked smile could sometimes look more natural. So we'll draw this big front tooth, side teeth. Let me try just rounding out the teeth a little bit. Softening the lines, making them thinner. That looks better already. I think it was just the really thick lines were creeping me out. Still a little big. I don't think that's too bad. I might just, cause I can see a little bit of bottom teeth. Add in a line, give the illusion of the bottom row. You see some like little wisps of hair I'd like to include. Little shadow. Oh, we never reversed the image. It's too late now. I don't even want to look. Let me just finish up. Spaghetti strap, something thin. Perfect. Oh good, time for some color. Not sure what color to use. I mean, I guess we could start with the orange. I like having open lines, but I also like shortcuts. We'll connect those. Contract. I find using like a more off white kind of just makes my colors pop a bit more. Coloring maybe a skin first. Let me try and find one that's close to the reference. Just try that. Ooh, that looks really nice next to the orange. I'm kind of thinking about going in over the hair with the liner the same way I did the eyebrows. Then I don't have to color it separately. I can just do the liner trick, you know. Wrap this and kind of just color in there. The erase from the skin layer. If we change any white on the picture, it changes all the white bottom teeth too. Color this, the line art. Darker than that, I think. It's hard to say what color to use for this. And I guess you'll find your preference as you do it. Actually, I think that could be a little darker. It's not popping enough. Just for the contrast. Now lips look a little bit purple. So I'll take this color and just go closer to purple. And a little darker. Put those in right here. Maybe that's a little too purple. Be a little more saturated. That is pretty close. And then we need the blue eyeshadow. Really vibrant. It's almost turquoise, I'd say. It goes right here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, it looks like there's like a less saturated blue on the lid. The color just needs to be darker. I want a little blush. Should we try this color? Kind of works, but maybe it multiplied and then toned it down. Maybe add a little bit of vibrancy underneath the nose, maybe on the side. We need to add like a shine to the lips. So I'll grab the same color and we'll just go up for more saturation. Shine. Probably should add a little shadow too, just because the lips are protruding a little bit more. I also kind of want to take this color and change this because it's looking like she overlined her lips. 
Now, looking at this again, these eyebrows need a little help. Stretch it this way. I think this one's too long. Let me trim it. Let me move this up a little. Oh, I want to add a little shading to the teeth. Just a little shadow. Now we just need to add in the headpiece. Now it's red, sort of paisley in the reference, but I'm thinking, what if we take maybe the highlight color? I don't think this looks good next to the orange. We could also take this color, but will that take away from the vibrancy of the eyes? Just move this little thing around. But maybe I'll just make it a little bit more blue and it's not so green. And then I want to add a texture to it. Use my stamp tool. I think the polka dots, oh, but they're too big. No, let's just draw something. We need like this color. I will draw something similar. It looks like it's kind of floral. We got some of these. Maybe some are longer and then like polka dots in between. The cool thing about doing it individually is you can kind of take the wrinkles into account. Yeah, I think that was probably the best decision. I will tone it down a smidge, fade it in. And honestly, now that I've done it, I kind of want to see it in red. Let's just check on it. Ugh, I keep doing the eyes. I like the red. Why don't we try making the background this color? I think we might have a winner. I will add like a little gradient though. Make it a little bit more saturated here. Now we can take maybe those little drawings we made and add them in in the background. Just go lighter or this way. Maybe a couple polka dots. I do want to tone down the line art around here. Grab a darker red. Maybe grab that same red and use it here. Probably could just use that throughout this whole face too. It just kind of brings it into the color scheme a little more. There's one thing I could do to make this headband look a little bit more like the one in the reference and that's add a little stroke to these pieces. Maybe this color, a little darker version. That looks already better. Merge those into a group. Add a little bit more reds and greens in the shadows maybe. Duplicate the line art and add that Gaussian blur. And lower the opacity of that a smidge. That looks good. Now we can merge it, add a little noise. And I think we have it. I think that's good enough for a warm up for today. Next time I see you, it'll be another day probably. And we'll do some more faces. It's another day, so it's time to warm up these cold wrists and get ready for another drawing day by drawing more of your beautiful faces. I was actually perusing the Instagram and the hashtag draw my face DWW and I was trying to narrow it down like I want to do them all. I'm trying to restrain from just doing people with pastel and vibrant colored hairs but I do have to admit I'm going to give in this one time because I saw someone with like a rainbow beard. I've never drawn a rainbow beard but yeah look at this. This is what I'm going to be drawing next. Pull up the Photoshop. A nice square image and then we're going to try to fit to this style for the next illustration. So we want to make sure that the head and the shoulders look like they're standing maybe on the same plane. Oh, I'm excited to draw this nose. Didn't expect to say that this morning. Focus on the shape of the eyebrows. It's something like I feel like can fit into any art style. I can't tell if they're completely bald, but I'm gonna roll with it. We'll block out the shape first. We're not worried about the texture so much. Now I'm gonna try to be faster with these. I spent too long on the last two and these are supposed to be like quick warm-ups. Now this reference image does have more of a facial expression than the last two that I've used so it might be a little trickier to capture the likeness. It's a little goopy I would say. I'll duplicate it so we still have that and then I can make changes by just grabbing facial features. I want to try and even it out. Eh? Eh. See how it's more straight on to the camera? Pretty balanced. Line that up. So this is circly. This is squarey. Lower the opacity. I know in my art style I tend to draw a little slightly longer necks than you would actually have. So by having this beard it blocks out my freakishly long necks that I draw. I feel like my brain is filling in the blanks and saying it's a normal size neck. So then the shoulders were looking too low. Let's grab our liner. Size 35. I'm actually going to ignore the glasses and draw like the eyebrows and all the features that are underneath them. And then we're going to add the glasses on top. Curve here is more straight and curves right at the end. Same on the other side. Add in the nose. I gotta be a little careful because the angle of the reference I think is more from below and I'm drawing straight on. Line it up. That's where the hair's beginning. This might all get moved up. I've never drawn this before. Shrink. Now another thing I probably should try to take into account is that selfies can sometimes distort the way a face looks. I think I drew my beard longer. Probably should end like here. I should have drawn this in a bit more natural pose. It looks very stiff. Throw in those ears. Yes. I'm gonna lower the opacity of this. Draw on a different layer and then draw in the glasses. Nose. I wonder if I can like duplicate this and flip it. <laughs> Let's pick a nice popping background color. Maybe like a turquoise. Fill in whatever color we'll use as white. Slightly desaturated, much lighter version. Okay, the shirt's black. That's easy. Grab that. 
take this white color and make it pinker. This might work, like it's very pink, but I think it's gonna work because the beard's gonna have so much color in it. So we need like a very bright pink color. Those eyes, whoa. Grab a color balance and add some red. Pull away from the pink. I think that's closer. Grab our gradient tool. Let's start with purple. I really like that with the green background. Oh, blue. And from there, I can kind of like look at the reference and kind of color pick, start blending it in. We can add like that bleachy tone. I just feel like they need some color variation up here. I think what's holding this back right now is the line art. So I'm going to go over the line art, lock the transparent pixels, maybe something like this. Could probably even get away with something brighter. Something slightly pinkier. Not too much. Oh, that's a good color. I add a little blush with this too. Softer brush. I also want to color the line art on the face, something like this, but much darker. Let me just add gradient to this. Lower the opacity of that. It's a little too much. We didn't do glasses. Wait! Honestly, they look fine like that, but I will color them in with something lighter. A bit more silvery. Shine right here. And then I will just throw in a little bit on top. Tone it down and erase little pieces of it. Most of it, really. Ta-da! Oh, that looks so much better than the last time I did that. Blur it. I might still lower the opacity as much. Add little extras. Kind of wish I had done this with some of the other ones. I'm gonna grab that same color and add our little polka dots and whatnot. I was trying to like find something that would match the theme, but I don't really see much of a theme. There we go. All right, next one. I was accepting some through email. I'm gonna try and pick one at random. Since this isn't like public information, although they are submitting it for a video, I'm not gonna show it, but I'm going to be drawing Celeste and their flower crown. You'll just have to take my word for it. I'm gonna try and do something a little bit more flowy, especially now that I'm kind of warmed up. Can you even see what I'm drawing? It's so light. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna try to add a little bit more flow to this. I don't want it to be so stiff. And the crown goes like here. Everyone looks like a goddess in one of these things. Technically, I think that's a mock neck. It's in like a nude color necklace. Okay, the chin's a little bit more pointed than this. This nose is like all wrong. Let me just think that's closer. Reverse that. Because it's not straight on, the balance has a lot more leeway. Oh shoot, I read their name wrong. It's Maria Celeste. I apologize. Lower the opacity. Start adding in some line art. Let's try to get the eye shape. Okay, those do not look lined up. Curve in. Should be pretty much straight. Wow, this is a very happy person. Mm, too high. Drag them down a little. There we go. I can see a little peek of some ears. So I'll draw the whole thing in. Works of being an artist. Something I'm also learning is when people smile, the top line looks more like a frown. I think I've always drawn smiles like this. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe it needs some nose line. What am I doing wrong? Maybe it's the ear. If I get rid of this. Hmm. I'm gonna look at the other reference that's also in the same email and see how they're smiling there. Oh, they're doing a potty face. That seems a lot easier. The nose is wrong. Make the ear a little bit less obnoxious. Round this out and then add in the pouty. I also find eyebrows a little easier to like adjust the shape slowly by filling them in first. Okay, lips are the wrong shape. Let me just fix that. Let's do the hair. Curl around the face and then straight down after that. Let's use our thicker lines. That necklace. Now this ear is probably gonna get covered. Bye bye. I'm gonna do this on a separate layer just so it's easier to erase what's underneath it. Now I'll lower the opacity so it's easier to see what's what. But we got like a daisy of some kind, followed by another daisy of some kind. I'm gonna put a rose in here. Carnation looking thing. There we go. Bring up the opacity on that and boom! We've got line art for background color. What if we do red? Start with that. Start adding in the colors with the clipping mask. Start with the hair maybe. Probably color in the eyebrows with this. Also need a skin tone. A little bit more red. Let me see how this looks. Actually, that's gonna work for the shirt color. Color in the flower crown. And then I feel like I'll be able to pick a background color a little better. And a yellow, more orangey. I feel like it needs more yellow though. I'm back here. Definitely need to change this background color. Maybe just like a yellow, less saturated, a little more lighter. Then I'm gonna change the line art. Brown. Let me adjust the colors on the roses and stuff. No, it's not popping the way I thought it would. Maybe it's the line art color. Grab a pink. It's got a little extra something. Oh yeah, I like that way better. Now I feel like I could take the pink color, use it for like lipstick. Darken the upper lip for a little dimension set to multiply highlights 
Then I can also change the outside of the line art to something more similar to that. I might just use that for the whole thing. Grab this color with a softer paintbrush. I do a nice cutesy makeup look inspired by the one in the reference. Need some uh, blush. I'll grab that same color. A little pasty a little. I do want to add a little bit more to the eyeshadow. More depth back here. We had some glitter. There's none in the reference, but I'm feeling crazy. A little shimmer. I want to do the flower crown. Grab this color, put it over top. It's already more cohesive. Let's see it without and with. I feel like we could change the background color a little. Let's do that. Add the blur. Add that stroke. We want it this color, but slightly brighter. I might add a little bit of shading to the hair. Just a little. I'm gonna draw little flowers. Kind of just to fit the theme. I gotta add some polka dots to fill in the little gaps. I like it. Anyway, if I don't add any more to this video, because it's probably too long, I should thank you guys for watching. And thank you for donating your beautiful faces for me to draw. I'll see you guys all next week, and I'm gonna have to wave with the mouse. <laughs> I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!